Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2025 Mathematics. Today, I will explain in the part 8 of this memory base portion. Myself, Dr. Harish Kirk, you can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of the GATE Mathematics. And you can see I have already uploaded the various lectures on the GATE Mathematics solution. Now, in this lecture, I will cover the two questions which are related to the exact, that is called as the quadrature formula. Fine. And you can see the first question is related to the inner product space and second is related to the uh, exact polynomial of degree sum. Now, whenever you are looking about such kind of these problems, how you can tackle this problem in a very simple manner? So before I start this one, I have already uploaded the one video which is related to the quadrature formula. And you can see it's a gate previous year papers and I have explained you this with the help of the shortcut. Have you watched this lecture before? solving the problem. So if, if you have already watched them, let me know in the comment box and again tell me how many seconds you are needed to understand the problem in the examination. So let's see how you can solve this problem. Consider the inner product space. This is the inner product space given. P is the any polynomial of degree 4 which is orthogonal to the polynomial of degree 3. Very simple. What is the concept I have explained you in this lecture? you always consider the basis of this degree less than or equal to 3. Basis are 1, x, x square, x cube. Fine. Now, as per the statement, the polynomial Px is orthogonal to the every polynomial of degree. So, first basis is, if it is orthogonal, dot product 0. Or the inner product is my 0. Similarly, second basis, similarly third basis and so on. Fine. So let's make an equation one by one. If you consider fx is one, fx is one, so px into one, that is f is px, g is by this, so this value will be minus one to one, px dx will be zero. Now if you integrate them, alpha integration from minus one to one, it is two alpha, it is two over three beta minus sixty over 5 is my 0. So I can divide it by 2. It is beta divided by 3. It is my 30. 30 over 5 is my 6. This is my equation number 1. Similarly, if you consider p into x, that will be fpx into x from minus 1 to 1 is 0, which is always a 0 because px is my even function. Fine. And x is my odd function. So if you multiply them, it is alpha x, x cube, x raised power 5. When you integrate from minus 1 to 1, it will be 0. Fine. Now, for the third case, it is x square, which is a even. Now, if you multiply with the x square, it is my alpha x square. It is x raised power 4. This is my 6. And if you integrate from minus 1 to 1, this will be my 2 over 3 alpha. Fine. It is 5. So it's a twice beta over 5 and it is 7. So it's a 60 divided by 7. Fine. I can divide. I can make the coefficient as a 1. So I can multiply by. I can multiply this equation by 3 by 2. So your equation becomes alpha plus 3 over 5, which is equal to 30. That is a 90 over 7. Fine. Now you need a two equations for the values of the alpha and beta. So can you solve these problems? Yes, you can easily solve. I can subtract them. It will be cancelled out. It is 1 over 3 minus 3 over 5. 5 minus 9 is a minus 4 over 15 into beta, which is 6 minus 90 over 7, 42 minus 90 over 7. So it is 48 over 7. Fine. It is a minus 48 over 7. So minus minus cancel 4 and 12. So beta will be your 180 divided by 7. Fine. Now, how you can find the value of the alpha? I can substitute in the equation number 1. Alpha plus 3. So 60 over 7 is 6. Alpha will be 42 minus 60 divided by 7. Alpha will be my minus 18 over 7. Is it okay? 
Now you can substitute both the values in the required expression alpha plus 5 times beta. So that will be minus 18, 7 will be the LCM plus 900. So it will be minus, it's a 2, it's a 8, it's a 8 divided by 7. So 7 1 is 7, 7 2 is 14, 7 6 is 42. So the right answer of this problem is 126 is my correct answer. Fine. If in the examination they are asked that uh, alpha plus 5, 7 beta instead of the alpha plus 5, you can substitute the value in that case. Fine. So this is the way you can get the values of the alpha, beta in a very simple manner. Have you also obtained the same answer 126? Let me know in the comment box so that I can feel that you can, your answer is correct and I am, I am very happy to assist you while solving the quadrature formula. Remember student, you must watch this lecture if you really want to know how you can calculate them in an easier way. Second question. Again, this is the exact polynomial. So I can consider the basis of degree 3. Fine. So fx, I can choose any one of them which belongs to this. So firstly, I can choose fx is 1. I can substitute here. It will be 2. fx is my 1, so it will be alpha. It is my beta. Derivative of the 1 is 0, gamma and 0. Second, I can choose fx is my x. The left hand side is my 0. Right hand side is minus alpha plus beta. What is the derivative of the f1? So that is my gamma plus delta. Third case, I can choose the value of the fx is x square. Integration is my 2 over 3. This value is my f of minus 1. That is a plus. It's a plus. What is the derivative is? 2x. So I can substitute this value. Minus of 2 gamma plus of 2 delta. And for the last case, if I choose the fx is x cube, the right hand side is left hand side is 0 because it's the odd function. This is my minus alpha plus beta. Derivative will be 3x square plus 3 gamma plus 3 delta. Fine. Now, how you can solve this problem? It's a very simple. You can write the system of the equation. This is alpha. This is beta, gamma, delta. Fine. Second equation minus 1, 1, 1, 1. Third equation 1, 1, minus 2, 2. Last equation minus 1, 1, 3, 3. This is the value of the alpha, beta, gamma, delta. And the right hand side is my 2, 0, 2 by 3, 0. Fine. Now look at that. I can add the two values, R2 plus R1. So this is my 2, this is 1, 1, and the right hand side is 2. Similarly, I, I, for this, I can take R3 minus R1, R3 minus R1, minus 2. So if I subtract them, this number will be my 6 minus 2, 4 by 3. And for the last case, for the last case, I can add them. This is 0. Again, I am using the same concept for the quadrature formula. This is 0, this is 2, this is 3, this is 3, and it is my 2. Now, I can subtract R4 minus R3. So, this R4 minus R2, this value is 0. This number will be my 2. This number is also 2. And this is my 2 minus 2, again, 0. Fine. And the last case, I can add them. If I add it, it will be 0. It is my 4. This is 0. This is 4. And this value will be my, if I add them, it is my minus 4 over 3. Is it fine? If I add them, it is my minus 4 over 3. So your final answer will be 4 delta is minus 4 over 3. That means delta is your minus 1 over 3. I can use the second equation that is a minus 2 gamma plus 2 delta is my minus 4 over 3. So what is the value of the minus of 2 gamma? It is, I can minus 4 over 3. It is a minus of 2 delta minus minus plus 2 over 3. 
fine. So it will be minus 2 over 3. So from this, gamma is my 1 over 3. Clear? I can use this third last equation. So that will be my 2 beta plus gamma plus delta is my 2. So gamma plus delta is my 0. So beta will be my 1. And from the first equation, if alpha plus beta is my 1, alpha is also 1. So now finally you can substitute in this equation. It will be 9, 1 plus 1 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 9. So that will be 9, 2 plus 2 over 9. So 9 to 18 and 20 is my correct answer of this problem. So you can see that it's a simple one. You have formed the system of the equations and get your answers in a very simple manner. So this is the way you can solve the problems in a very, very quick manner. Fine. So that's the right answer of this problem. And I hope you can like, share and comment on this video. We will see the next lecture very soon. Till then, you can share this video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Best of luck students. Happy learning.